Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and we are continuing with my Black Friday purchases even though these aren't Record Store Day Black Friday releases. But this is another album that I picked up last week. This is The Millennium Begin. This is an album that was released on Columbia Records in 1968. Now I got familiar with this album uh, thanks to uh, Sundays, who reissued it, and this is also a Sundays um, um, album. Uh, like I said, released on Columbia. Uh, these guys were comprised of um, several other pop groups in LA at the time, and some of the bands you might know, uh, bands like The Ballroom, uh, Sagittarius, which is also another uh, great album, and The Music Machine. And so they came together uh, to do uh, Millennium, or The Millennium. And um, what they had done, there were several um, tapes and previously recorded material. And so they began sort of crafting this album uh, in early 1968. Um, this was the second album uh, that was released using the 16-track recording technology. Um, the other one was Simon and Garfunkel's uh, Bookends. And uh, they wrote songs that probably uh, people would, would use the sunshine pop description for um, a little bit of psychedelia, though. It's not straight ahead, sort of. Uh, when I think of sunshine pop, I think of things like uh, The Fifth Dimension or uh, even the Turtles, but these guys were a little more out there, a little more uh, psychedelic, a lot of harmony, a uh, lot of harmony, harmony vocals, and uh, really, really big um, lush orchestrations. Uh, now, at the time, because of the uh, complex uh, recording techniques and everything uh, and the time it took in the studio, this actually was the most expensive studio album recorded in 1968, or by 1968, rather. Uh, now, it did receive critical acclaim, but it was not a big selling album. That's why probably some of you are saying, who are the Millennium? Well, it did not do well. It did not even chart either in the US or the U UK. Uh, and they were going to do a follow-up album, and I think it was uh, kind of intended to be continued, as says here. Um, but it... Uh, it was abandoned uh, because of the failure of this this release. Now, um, as 60s music went on, and now it's kind of regarded, a lot of people have dug a lot of these albums out and began listening to it. Um, this album has been reissued. This is a reissue. It's not an original uh, copy. Um, but this was um, regarded as one of the best albums recorded outside of LA uh, or rec recorded in LA outside of the Beach Boys. Um, so it was a big deal. Now the big uh, two guys brain children behind this is um, Kurt Betcher and Keith Olsen. Um, they were um, Kurt Betcher, a lot of uh, LA music fans will know his name because uh, he was Sort of a, uh, a, a Brian Wilson type, uh, compared a lot to Brian Wilson as sort of this brilliant producer, arranger, and songwriter, uh, but never quite had the, the status of, um, of, uh, of Brian Wilson. Uh, now, like I mentioned before, the Sagittarius album, which I think featured Gary Usher, another, another Beach Boys guy, I'm, I'm dropping a lot of names here, um, was a collaboration between them. But this was more uh, more of Kurt Betcher's uh, sort of baby, and Kurt and uh, Keith produced this album. Um, like I said, there were several different recordings uh, kind of put together, but um, that was kind of the, um, the, the culmination of all of those things. Um, now, there were a few, and like I said, the album's going on to reach a certain status as, as one of the lost great 60s pop albums. Um, and so it, it, it um, if you're into like newer bands like uh, the High Llamas or maybe even the Olivia Trimmer Control, these guys might be worth uh, checking out. And, and you know, when you put the album on, it's, it's strange, like the first track when the prelude comes on, the drum sound alone is not your typical 60s sort of drum sound. It's very washy and it 
Sounds like it's something that could have come out in the '90s or even the 2000s. Um, so in that regard, it's 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 very it's very interesting sounding. Now, um, a few songs that that kind of made its way out. Uh, the CB Victoria uh, did a version of "To Claudia" on Thursday. Uh, there is nothing more to say. Was a song on this album that was done by Chris Knight and Maury McCormick on the Brady Bunch. They kind of redid the lyrics a little bit. Um, and then there's some, uh, Japanese bands that have done some of the other songs. Um, so it, um, it is, it has reached a little bit of a, um, like I said, a little bit of a, of a cult status. Um, and I mentioned Gary Usher earlier. He was involved in this album as well as executive coordination. So he is, uh, he is actually listed on here. So Gary Usher fans, uh, will also, uh, find this, uh, find this worthwhile so today's daily record the millennium began do you know this album comment down below like subscribe share give the old thumbs up and uh all that good stuff i appreciate everyone that watches follow me on instagram and twitter it's tommy burton 75 in the meantime i'll see you all again tomorrow with another daily record